Welcome back to Creative Tian channel. Today we have the last part of the vest knitting on the LK150 knitting machine. You can check the link in the description for part 1 and part 2. We already knit the tuck stitch front and back panel and we cut up the neck opening and the sleeve opening and sew up the edges in part 2. And today is part 3, the last part. We are going to start with the easy part. We will sew up the sides and also the shoulder. And there are many ways you can do that. You can do it on the sewing machine or you can just hand sew with the yarn and the yarn needle or with regular sewing thread and sewing needle. And the way I actually like is to do the crochet. I think it's easier and fast and I will have a better control than sewing on a sewing machine. You just start with the right side facing each other and I want to use this texture side as right side so I'm going to turn it over and start crocheting the sides and the shoulder join. And I like to place pins or clips first so everything is in the right place before you start sewing. Now just get your crochet hook and some yarn and we can start crocheting. I'm going from the sleeve opening down but any direction will be fine. So I just make sure I pick up stitch below the sewing line and for the sides we don't have a sewing line it's just the knitting so you can pick up anywhere and just keep it consistent. Make sure you pick up stitch below the sewing line. Here's a sewing line below that on both sides. I just want to show you the inside of the seam. It has a ridge but it's still pretty clean and pretty neat. Now we finish sewing the shoulder and the sides we can start doing the neck. And for the ribbon, I'm going to use mark ribbon on LK150. I start with making a sample and just to see if the stitch number fits. Because it's a lot of stitch here, so I need to separate into two pieces. And in this instance, I actually have about 100 stitches and I keep it odd number so I have 101 stitches. I'm doing the every other needle mark ribbon. So after I'm done I can fold it up and then enclose the raw edge and then sew it down. And you should adjust the stitch number and the row number based on your sample and your own design. For the neck opening, I have 24 rows and after I fold it down, it's only 12 rows. For the sleeve, I will keep it a little bit smaller. I'm going to use 20 rows. And for the ribbon, I'm going to reduce the tension a little bit. So I will use tension 2 instead of tension 2.5. So we'll need the two pieces of 101 stitches for the neck. And for the mark ribbon cast on, I start from left 50 to right 51 and pull out every other needle. Now I will start e wrap directly or you can use waist yarn and ravel cord and then start into e wrap. And we set tension to number 2 and we will start to knit for 24 rows. Don't forget to hang the weight after one or two rows.
I just after 24 rows, I just need a few rows of waist yarn and I can take it off the machine. So we'll do two pieces of the same for the neck. For the shoulder ribbon, I will do 135 stitches every other needle and knit for 20 rows. And we'll need two pieces of that, left and right. That's the uh, finished mark ribbon. We have to give it a stretch. Fold in half. That's our ribbon. For the sleeve opening, I have from left 60A to right 67. This is for the sleeve openings. Now we needed two pieces for the neck and two pieces for the shoulder. For the shoulder, it's one continuous piece. If your opening is bigger and it doesn't fit 150 needles, you can do two pieces separately and uh, sew it together. Next, I want to start with sleeves. I'm going to connect these two. I will just sew it together so it becomes a loop. So I have the right side facing and I can sew it up using any method. I will use the same crochet technique as before and sew close this one. So it's a continuous loop. And we will do the same on the second one. After sewing it, we can pin it on the opening of the sleeves. I will place seam on the underarm side and I like to use the waist yarn side on the inside. And I will sew the inside first. First you pin off both ends, the bottom and the top, and then pin the middle evenly. And we sew the inside first. After that we can fold it in half and sew the outside. I will place the pin below the sewing line from the sewing machine and you can decide how much you want to cover it so you can adjust the depth there. So I cut a piece of yarn and using my yarn needle and I start him from the underarm and the area we just saw and I will find the stitches on the waist yarn, the purple yarn and just sew it evenly, the next stitch. Because we pin it so we can sew it evenly. And you can go a little bit below the sewing line and just pick up one yarn and go to the next one. There's no actual rules of how many stitch to make it even. You just have to adjust. That's after sewing from the inside. And then I take off the waist yarn. So the next step is very simple. We just fold it like that and then sew it up from the outside. You can pin it first before you sew. So it's easier to make it even. And we'll do the same on the other sleeves. You'll be like that. So I pin it up. I start with the underarm again. So I just tie a knot there because you'll be hidden anyway. And you can decide how far you want to go down below the sewing line and we want to hide all the raw edges and make it even. For the ribbon, I just go through the first stitch of the knit stitch and then I just pick up a stitch on the vest. Make sure it's not too tight. Pick up the knit stitch and pick up one stitch below it. So 
So we finish the ribbing for the sleeves and we are doing the same for the neck because we have two pieces. So I connect these two pieces first, just sew it together or crochet it together. And I sew down one side of the ribbon, just like the sleeves. And for the V-neck, there are several choices. And uh, as you can see, this looks like a collar. You can just keep it like that and sew it down here. That's an option. Or we can do an overlap like that and sew it just like that. And the last one is to do the classic one. We can fold it in. That's the easiest way to make that V-neck. Fold it in and sew it together. Or you can overlap those two pieces and sew it on the sewing machine with a V-shape or hand sew it and cut out the extra. And when you open it up, it will be just like that. You see that extra triangle shape? We can sew it up and cut it out and then just sew it together. I think I will just fold it in and sew it together like that. You don't really need to cut out the extra piece. It is optional. I folded a triangle here and then I sewed it down from here, this part. And I'll do the same on the other side. I sew it down. And then we can start sewing up this part. I'm just going to sew a few stitches here and then I will finish up the rest. So that's a video today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.